Guess what everybody, the 2019 Jetta arrives this month. It's great news, but have you ever wondered how it became the car that it is today? I mean, how did it become such a global force for the Volkswagen brand? To celebrate the new Jetta, we are here to help you answer these questions and many more as we dive into Volkswagen's rich history regarding the Jetta. The Jetta was created for a North American market in mind. It debuted in 1979, back when the village people and Rod Stewart were topping the charts. Volkswagen was facing some challenges in selling the then Rabbit, now Golf Hatchback in North America. So, the automaker devised a plan to reach out to the sedan-focused consumer of the great white, red and blue, and of course, the even greater red and white. Their answer, the Mark I Jetta. Do you really have the world's greatest collection of Volkswagens? Of course. Right here. That's one Jetta. Where's the collection? Jetta is a collection. It handles like a Scirocco. Uh-huh. It's roomy like a Dasher. Yeah. It gets terrific mileage like a Rabbit. And of course, it has fuel injection and front-wheel drive. Jetta even has a huge trunk. I'm surprised no one came out with a car like Jetta before Volkswagen. Really? I'm not. All our best ideas in one car. Jetta. Essentially, it was a Rabbit with a trunk welded on, sharing much of the same infrastructure. Kind of goofy looking, but also quite cool in its own way. It shared a number of similarities with the Golf, including its 2400mm wheelbase, front wheel drive system, and shared stylistic impression, which was developed by an Italian designer, Giro Ghetto Giorgiano. The Jetta took its name from an Atlantic jet stream, figurative of the models being blown across the ocean from Germany to North America as VW's newest member of the team. This mark would eventually go on to outsell its predecessors, the Golf and the Beetle. After the success of the Jetta in North America, Volkswagen put out the Mark II, Volkswagen's longest running Jetta model, spanning from 84 to 92. Oh, that's Farvignugan. And the Volkswagen Jetta has plenty of it, let me tell you. The second generation Jetta proved to be Volkswagen's breadwinner, as it came away with a boatload of awards for its performance and selling 1.7 million models globally. It boasted a larger and more powerful frame, seating for five instead of four, and improved aerodynamics. The Mark II also brought so much needed style and substance to the sedan. This iteration built off of the sedan's existing simplicity, reliability, and durability, but refined it, solidifying the Jetta as a global sedan benchmark by these terms. Despite the success of the Mark II, nothing else in Volkswagen's garage really caught the imagination of the North American buyers, leading to a decline in sales in the early 90s. Enter the 1993 Jetta Mark III, around a design that wasn't quite as eye-catching as the model it replaced, but one that was popular enough to not only outsell the Golf at nearly 2 to 1, but also convince the German automaker not to pack up shop and head back to Europe. You know the sensation. You want this car. You want the way it corners and handles. You want to drive it every day. So you slide into the seat and start. Your palms are sweaty. You maneuver through the first obstacles. You think it looks clear ahead. And then the loan officer says, You can't afford a car this exciting. What does she know? You can lease a Volkswagen Jetta for zero down and only $2.99 per month. Still another half to go. The fourth generation of the Jetta was a sleeker, more rounded version of the Mark III. Safety on the Mark IV generation cars was a high priority for Volkswagen, mainly because the preceding models had been, well, a bit dangerous. The car was built using advanced processes such as highly mechanized presses, improved measuring techniques, and laser welding on the roof. In the crash tests, the fourth generation car received high marks. This was the first time the Jetta received stellar safety ratings, which proved to be a huge selling point for the generation of safety conscious consumers. This was also the first month where the Jetta wagon was introduced and was commonly used to impress prospective lovers with its bold design. The fifth generation Jetta is almost 180 degree departure from the fourth gen. It continues the basic lineage of the model, a front engine, front wheel drive, five passenger sensible European sedan. But it also takes more than a couple radical departures from the previous generations. If each generation had a personality, the Mark V Jetta would be the mature one. If the Mark IV was young and hip, the Mark V is the ready to settle down and start a family model. Marketing campaigns appropriated the tagline, the new Jetta, all grown up, sort of. The 
fast? It's got 10 speeds, my friend. Is it fast? It's got a lightning bolt on it, doesn't it? Is it fast? I don't even know if it's street legal. Is it safe? Oh yeah, it's a Volkswagen. The security of a Jetta, one of nine Volkswagen models named the 2012 IIHS top safety pick. Ah, the Mark VI, our current Jetta. A more modern design compared to the Mark V, and was also larger and cheaper to produce, giving Volkswagen the ability to be more competitive against rivals such as the Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, and the Nissan Sentra. A perfect preclude to the newest Jetta, the Mark VII. Drum roll, please. The moment you've all been waiting for. The newest member of the Jetta team, the Mark VII. The newest generation is the most advanced model to date. It features the latest generation of Volkswagen Karna infotainment systems, including the integrated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 10 color customizable ambient interior lighting, and an available digital cockpit. In addition, the Jetta is the first vehicle in North America to offer premium Beats audio sound system, and also offers advanced safety technologies such as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, light assist, lane assist, and autonomous emergency braking. The design steps away from Jettas of the past, which were quite round, as it features bolder lines and a larger front and rear bumper. This is the 21st century Jetta that we've all been waiting for.